Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using Next.js. Now in the previous video, we started connecting our UI to the API and we have created the home page. So here we can see that all these posts are coming from the database. Now in this video, let's continue connecting our UI to the API. So let's get started. Now the first thing we will do is we will connect the dashboard page. So if you go to the dashboard, we need to get all the posts that are written by the logged in user. So let's go ahead and sign in and let's sign in with Google. And here we can see that we are redirected to the dashboard. Right now, let's go ahead and display the posts that are written by the current user. So right now, all these posts are coming from the data.js file. So let's go back to our code and let's go to the dashboard page. So here we have the dashboard and here we have this page.tsx file. And here we can see that we are getting the data from post data. So let's go ahead and delete this import. And now let's create a function called get posts. And uh, we will get the posts based on the email. So let's go ahead and extract the email from the session. So let's type const email equals session user email. And here let's go ahead and create a post array. And by default, we'll set it to an empty array. And now let's go ahead and uh, call this function. So I'll just store the results inside the post and uh, let's type await. And now let's go ahead and create this function. So let's type const get posts and here we'll get the email. And here let's add a try catch block. And here let's type const res equals await fetch. And uh, let's go ahead and perform a fetch call for this API right here authors email so if you go back to our website and if you go to api authors and if i add an author over here now here we can see all the posts by this author are displayed over here so let's go ahead and copy this url and let's paste it over here and let's change this into an async function and this email is gonna be a string so let's type string and here instead of this home page, let's add the environment variable. So let's type dollar symbol curly braces process.env.nextauth URL. And here instead of this email ID, let's get the email from here. So let's type dollar symbol curly braces email. And now if you go back to our result, we can see that we get the details of the author, but we just need to have the posts. So we have this array called posts. So let's extract that. I'll just tap const and let's destructure posts from await rest.json and now let's go ahead and return posts and here in the cache let's go ahead and return null now here for get posts we need to pass the email id so let's tap email and now we can see it says that email can also be undefined so here let's add an if condition and uh, let's check whether the email is available and if the email is available, then we'll just call this function. Right now, let's go ahead and change this post data to posts and let's map through all the data. And here, let's go ahead and add the type. So let's type T post. And now we can see that we need to make some changes. So for the author, we need to type post dot author dot name. And for the author email, we'll just type post dot author email. And for date published, we need to change this to let's see what is the type so we have created at so let's add that over here created at and then for the thumbnail we need to change this to image url and then for the category we need to change this to cat name and i think that's it so let's go back to our website and let's go to the dashboard now here we can see that we have this error so let's go back and uh, if you go to the route here we can see that we are not including the author in this author's route. So let's go back to the dashboard and uh, here we actually don't need the author because uh, in the dashboard we are not displaying the author. So let's go ahead and set this author to an empty string. So now let's go back and now we can see that our posts are displayed over here and uh, the first post is next yes and the next one is new title updated. Now let's log out and let's go to the other account so let's sign in with github now here we can see in the dashboard of this account we just have one post 
so the dashboard is working correctly. Right now let's go ahead and add the functionality of the delete post button. Now for the delete post button we have this component called delete button.tsx. Now for deleting let's create a function and let's call it handle delete and let's make it an async function. Now let's go ahead and call the function over here when we click on this button. So let's tap on click handle delete and here the first thing we will do is we will display a confirmation screen. So let's tap const confirmed equals and here let's tap window dot confirm and here let's add a question. So let's tap are you sure you want to delete this post and now if the confirmation is true then we will proceed with the deletion. So let's tap if confirmed. Let's go ahead and create a try cache block and uh, here we need to add the URL of the delete route. So here if you go to posts and in that we have the ID. So here we have the delete route. So we need to go to API posts and we need to provide the ID and then we can access this delete method. So let's go back to the delete button dot tsx and uh, here let's tap const result equals await fetch and here let's type API posts and uh, here let's add the ID. Now here we need to get the ID of the post. So let's go back to the post component and uh, here we have the delete button. So let's also pass the ID. So here we can see that we are getting the ID. So let's pass the ID over here as a prop. So let's type ID equals ID. And now let's go back to the delete button component and here let's destructure the ID. And for the type, let's type ID and it is going to be a string. Right now, let's go ahead and pass the ID over here. And then we need to add an object for the options. And let's tap method and the method should be delete. And then we need to add headers. So let's set the headers to an object and let's type content type application JSON. Right now let's go ahead and see whether the result is okay. So let's tap if res.ok and here I'll just console.log and let's type post deleted and here in the catch let's tap console.log error. Right now let's go back to our website and uh, here we can see that we have this error because we are using the on click event handler and so we need to change this to a client component. So let's type use client and now let's go back and here we have this post so let's click on delete and if you click on cancel we can see that the post is still there so let's click on delete and let's click on ok and now if we reload this page we can see that no post created yet so the deletion is working all right now if you go to the home page we can see that the posts of the other users are displayed over here so with that we have added the delete functionality to our posts now in the next video we will add the edit functionality. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.